Happy Saturday, this May 2nd. I'm Julia Fellow. From Storm Team 4, meteorologist Kristen Kershain says today will be partly to mostly cloudy with a few sprinkles, breezy, but get this, very warm with a high of 72 degrees. Tonight we'll have big wind gusts up to 25 miles per hour with a low of 50 degrees. Here's an overview of COVID cases for our entire state. The number of cases jumped 460 from Thursday. We are now at more than 7,300 cases total. There are 327 people who have died from the virus and more than 72,000 people who have been tested across our state. The tests have come back negative. The Food and Drug Administration is giving doctors a new weapon to battle coronavirus. The FDA announced emergency approval from Redesafir to treat COVID-19 patients. Preliminary results from a government-sponsored study show the drug shortened the time of recovery. Gilead Sciences has agreed to donate the vials to hospitals starting on Monday. And that Freighter Hospital is giving the drug to 10 patients who met that criteria to enter the program. It's in hopes for doctors to have another tool to fight against this virus. Patrick Cudahy, Milwaukee will reopen on Monday after 85 people tested positive for coronavirus. 85 workers tested positive for an outbreak there. The city's health department issued those numbers just last night. More than 500 of Smithsfield's plants, 1,000 workers were tested. 31 tests are still pending. Another food maker is shutting its doors. Palermo's announced temporary closures for two days after Milwaukee Health Department reported its five workers tested positive for COVID-19. The company says there is no known risk for customers who purchase their products. Have a great day.